Hey guys, it's Liddy here from LA 3D Printing and today I'm going to be talking about some popular 3D printed tools on Thingiverse. So, let's get started! Alright guys, welcome back. Now if you are new here, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy it. And if you are a new subscriber, I thank you very, very much for subscribing to my channel. We are actually almost to 3,000 subscribers. And it hasn't even been three months of the new year. So I thank you guys so much if you're joining us here today. Um, so basically, I went on Thingiverse and I looked up some cool um, sanding and uh, basically like um, nut and bolt holders for just in the office to make things easier. Uh, they're really cool and I printed them in multiple colors. I printed them in IO Robotic PLA and I also printed in some uh, my white PLA and then also some polymaker PLA so I think they turned out really cool I printed them on a couple of my printers I have them all running right now so let's check out what all of them look like and how they work nut holders now uh, again I printed these in multiple colors this one's actually printed in Ziltec PLA and both of these are printed in IO Robotics PLA all great filament and I definitely recommend it um, so basically checking these out they are just some nut holders so basically like this one will go on my thumb um, I think any of these can go on any fingers, but most these two are um, recommended for the thumbs. This one can be put on any finger you want, and uh, the nut just slides under there, and it holds on to it very, very easily. Um, I'll demonstrate in a second, but just showing you what all these look like, and they're all different sizes, and you can print them all in different colors. I think they look really cool, and definitely something very, very nicely to have in your shop if you have big fingers and things are hard to hold on to these are great great um, and very very useful so as you can see here this is basically what it does again this is on my thumb and um, different sizes fit different people so you can just print um, and you also can scale up which ones you think you like best or scale down to fit your fingers but basically it just slides right in there and I'm pushing up with my thumb so that's to start the nut and then eventually you can just put it on and if you're very very um, clumsy with holding little things and these are also very nice if you don't have any needle nose pliers so I definitely like these alright guys so these are the sanders the first type I'm gonna be showing you um, so as you can see the green is the thin long one the red is the thin short one so the and the blue one is a thick short one uh, now I believe there is a thick long one but I did not print that um, just because I actually forgot but um, I think these turned out really nice. Now the only problem I'm actually having is screwing in these little knobs here. Um, I'm having a little hard hard problem of actually getting them to screw into the where they're supposed to. Um, but I might have to actually just use a normal nut instead of these and screw them in. So what you do is um, basically you wrap your, sand or your sandpaper around it and then you put the end into this part and it pushes down here and again um, I'll show you uh, a demonstration of what it does. Uh, but yeah, so that's the first one, and then we can hop over and s check out what the second version is, uh, and then we'll show you guys what they do and how they work. All right, so this is the second version, and um, obviously it is not put together, but this basically goes in the back, and this will hold it in. So what your, uh, your sandpaper does is it wraps around here and is held in through the back here, which is very, very easy. I think it's a lot easier than the other ones I just showed you. Um, but it's a very nice model and this was actually printed in uh, some of Philicube's mint blue and then this white was just some cheap white I bought off of eBay. Um, all PLA and they're very very easy to print. Um, they actually printed in this orientation. Very easy and simple to print. So again I printed these on my multiple printers. I actually printed um, these two on my Tivo Michelangelo and my Tronix YX1. Um, both turned out great, and I really like how it turned out. So now let's show you guys what they do. All right, so as you guys can see here, I only did two of them, and that is because um, this one was uh, kind of difficult to actually do. And this one, uh, once again, that uh, the screws that you print with these don't actually fit in them, so I did have to use some rubber bands. But I also did for both of these, just to make sure everything was uh, tightened and everything, um, I used some spray adhesive. Now I don't really think you should because they're supposed to be very easy to replace. Um, but And also again this is the same way you do it with all of them. Um, all of these different types and then this is the only one. Uh, 
So basically, uh, this one was a lot more complicated than this, just because I had to actually use a screw and um, have to figure everything out and adjustments and stuff. Um, but this one is definitely really easy. Uh, basically, all I did was I sprayed it with some spray adhesive and used these little elastic rubber bands that I actually use for the prosthetic arms I make. So I just sprayed it with adhesive and made sure there was a little bit left over for both sides so that I could tighten it down. As you can see, it's kind of gappy over here, and that is because, um, as you can see here, I do not have enough layover just like I do over here. So uh, the rubber bands hold it in fine. And uh, now I'll demonstrate what you can do with these. So first off with this, an example would be if you want to get like thin parts and you don't want to snap it, uh, you just use this smaller part like the back here and you'll be able to sand things. So as you can see, this definitely didn't have the best print quality uh, and there's some stringies in there and this is really easy to uh, clean it out with, um, especially with little points and corners, you can use the tip here. Now, as you can see, I didn't actually use an um, exact length here, and that's what you're supposed to do to get the best results um, so you can actually go back and forth instead of actually scraping off the plastic. Um, but uh, they're super easy to use. They're basically self-explanatory. And the same thing with this. This will help you with um, some curvatures uh, or some hard-to-reach spots or even just a flat surface that you want to sand. Um, it's just very easy to hold in your hand. Um, I do like this one because it is bigger and these ones are a little harder to hold because they are smaller and you get more grip with this. But I definitely do like both of these um, a lot. They're super easy to print and just put together. Again, I recommend some using some spray adhesive just to make it easier to stick on there. Now the spray adhesive I have doesn't um, stick a lot. It doesn't, it's like a temporary stick. So I definitely recommend getting that instead of the permanent stuff. Uh, but yeah, so that's with these prints and basically how they work. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now I know there wasn't a lot of detail with these prints. They're basically self-explanatory and they're super easy and super fast to print. They didn't take very long each and I definitely like printing them all in different colors. I think they look cool and are very, very useful around the shop. I'll leave a link to both of these STLs in the description below. I um, am trying to get three things that are useful uh, to use and what are very popular and three things that are not very popular on Thingiverse. But as of now, I've only found two, so maybe it will go with two for now. Um, but hopefully I will be having a lot of new reviews. I'm actually trying to get a new printer to review and hopefully I will be reviewing the new TiVo printer, uh, the nearest, I think that's what it's called. I really don't know how to pronounce it, um, but hopefully they will be sending it to me and hopefully I will be getting the dual color one to show you guys um, a dual color printer because I do not have one as you guys know. Um, and I hopefully uh, am going to get a Flash Forge printer, um, Sexy Cyborg or Naomi Wu. She's being very, very generous and talking to companies to try help me get more reviews. So thank you, thank you to her. And again, if you guys are new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Um, and thank you for watching this video. Uh, I had a lot of fun just showing you guys and I hope you like my new camera setup with the white background. It's a lot cleaner. Um, and also I'm going to be doing a kind of Raspberry Pi like computer review thing. Um, hopefully in the future I'm actually connected with a company that makes them and I think they're really cool and something different for this channel. Uh, so hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that. And if you're here at the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it and we're actually almost to 3,000 subscribers. So hopefully we can beat that in the next couple months. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.